So Halloween is over and don't you think I'm going to forget about Thanksgiving? I'm going to make enough stuffing that I can freeze some and use it for my Thanksgiving meal or anytime at a later date. So if you only want to make a one shot meal then use about a fourth of what you see me using here. So we're going to start with some white meat. I'm using chicken tenders. I have my butternut squash. I have vegetables and fruit. The fruit is optional. That's carrots, bell pepper and onions, pears, apples and a lime. I have pecans and I also have couscous which you can use quinoa instead if you would like. I'm going to also be using salt, pepper and honey and then I have some herbs including mint. You're also going to want to have olive oil and goat cheese or any cheese that's easy to crumble or shred. So we're going to start with the acorn squash. You're going to prepare a baking sheet and you're going to preheat your oven to 375. You want to go ahead and remove the tops and bottoms from the squash and slip them right down the middle from the top to the bottom and you want to remove the pulp from the inside. You'll also see that I made some slits so that after they're done baking and they're a little bit softer, I can hollow them out a little bit more. On your baking sheet, you're going to add olive oil, salt and pepper. You want to place your butternut squash onto the pan, the open side down. And they're going to go into the oven for between 30 and 50 minutes. I put my timer on for 45 minutes. Next, let's start to prepare our meat. You want to just brown your meat. I'm using my nonstick griddle from JCPenney's and I'm just placing all the meat onto the griddle and it's on about 325. Like I said, I'm making enough portions so that I can use these ingredients at a later date. So I'm going to use about half of this amount of meat in my mixture and you probably can use a fourth of that and I'm going to save some meat for a later date. A little meal prepping if you will for future lunch and dinner meals. Also my meat was salt and peppered before placing it onto the grill. At this point you can start to chop your fruits and vegetables. Remember I'm making enough to last me for future meals but for yourself I would probably just use a fourth of what you see me using. So just take one slice of the pear. You can remember to check your acorn squash in the oven and flip your meat. So continue to chop and dice your ingredients and I'm just going to keep reminding you, you may only need to use a slice of each thing and chop about a fourth of what you see me using here if you're only going to have a one shot meal. I am making a lot so that I can use this in the future because I know it's going to be so yummy. As you continue to dice your ingredients, you can add it to a bowl. I had to go ahead and reload my meat. Like I said, I'm doing a little meal prep for the future. And I'm just continuing to dice and chop, dice and chop. Here with my carrots, I did go ahead and peel them before chopping. Somewhere around the five to 10 minute mark, you wanna go ahead and get your couscous started. It'll probably take about five to 10 minutes. Look at that butternut squash, it looks so yummy. I've gone ahead and taken that out of the oven. I'm gonna let it cool, but I just wanted to show you guys how easily it is going to be to go ahead and hollow it out further at this point. Um, there's also such a thing as spaghetti squash, so that's another meal for another video. Here you see I have my couscous on. And I'm just continuing dicing and chopping over to the side. 
and I'm adding all of my ingredients to a large mixing bowl. You'll probably see me putting it in a pot because I don't have a large mixing bowl, but that's on my Christmas list if anyone wants to send me something nice. While your butternut squash cools, you can go ahead and finish up with your meat. You're gonna dice that up and add it to your mixture. I probably only used about six pieces of my meat. And here you see that I have hollowed out the butternut squash and I'm also going to use those insides inside of the mixture. And you can see how I have a nice bowl to add my stuffing. So here's where you wanna put your entire mixture together. So I've added the insides of the squash. I've added the couscous or your quinoa, whichever you decided to make. I've added about two to three spoonfuls of the goat cheese. I did a dash of salt and pepper and a drizzle of honey. And I went ahead and mixed all of that together with the herbs and the pecans. Don't forget to crack your pecans. After mixing that all together, I scooped it into the walnut squash and put the goat cheese again on top. So your last step is just to let that brown in the oven for 15 minutes at 350 degrees. As I said, I had a lot of stuffing left over, so I'm gonna give it to family and friends and save some for myself. Check out this finished product. It was so yummy, let me tell you. So please add any size that you would like and enjoy your meal. Like, subscribe, and share, and enjoy the rest of your fall season.